Hey, welcome back to the Coffee with Creators podcast. My name is Rob Ballas. I was really glad to have you here. Uh, if we are just meeting, uh, nice to meet you. Um, it is uh, great to have you here on the channel or on the podcast, wherever you're catching this particular episode in. Um, this is this camera is not actually recording. It's just sitting here. <laughs> in case you're watching the video version, you're like seeing this random camera on my desk. Uh, it's not working. It is. Uh, I was recording some um, some uh, sponsor videos uh, earlier today and so this is just sitting here um, so anyways um, yeah welcome uh, if you've been here with us for a little while glad to have you here you'll probably notice a new um, sort of angle here I'm using a uh, webcam my Logitech uh, stream cam um, that's sitting right on top of my monitor and that's why you've got this uh, different angle today. You'll see my printer, which you don't normally see. I still have a printer. You know, we still have to print documents and, um, you know, accounting stuff uh, every now and then and stuff for school. But um, anyhow, besides the fact, man, it's good to record again. Uh, I haven't recorded an episode in quite some time. Been really busy and um, got lots of got events that we're planning for, conferences, Vid Summit, VidCon, FinCon. Um, and uh, just really heads down with you know my uh, my day job, which is head of partnerships at Uscreen. We're just like really heads down. It's an exciting time um, in the company. I am also working on my membership and launching that very soon. Um, and so things are uh, things are have been really busy. Um, and so, uh, but it's good. Can't complain. Um, I am I am just super excited about all the things that I've been working on. And um, yeah, it's a really exciting time. But uh, I wanted to share something cool with you guys all today you guys are all content creators i actually just recently uh if you guys know me i don't rec i don't edit a whole ton of videos <clears throat> and uh but uh, when i do i really do enjoy uh editing uh i have a couple of sponsored videos that i told you in my previous video about how i don't edit um and a previous podcast episode where i talk about how much i don't edit videos i really enjoyed uh, editing a couple of videos recently that are sponsored videos and for sponsored videos of course I tend to edit those um, pretty meticulously I you know take a lot of time and you know edit second frame by frame almost um, I actually reshot something uh, today um, for a sponsored video just the end clip because I wanted to make sure it was perfect and I was talking to the uh, brand um, and so, yeah, so anyways, I wanted to show you guys a tool going back to not really wanting to edit a whole ton. I found a tool that is so helpful when it comes to making repurposed content. And this might not be a new tool for some of you. You guys may already be familiar with this tool, uh, but I was, I, I actually met the folks. I'm gonna share my screen here. I met the folks. Oh, now you can't see the the uh, logo. Let me move my uh, let me move myself out of there. We go. Met the folks at Opus Clip, and if you guys are familiar with Opus Clip, awesome! So happy that you are. Uh, they're a really cool company, really cool brand, but a really awesome tool <laughs> above all else. And um, I met them at VidCon in Anaheim a few months ago, and I got reconnected with them through my friend Andrew Can, who you guys are all familiar with if you have been to this channel. And um, he recently started working with them and he introduced me to the folks over there at Opus Clip. And uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Um, there may be some future sponsored videos by Opus Clip, but this particular one is not. Uh, I started, I, I met with Connor, who is with Opus Clip, and um, he hooked me up with an account. I started using it because I've always been, I've always wanted to create short form content, YouTube shorts out of my podcast episodes, and also turn those into TikToks or Reels. And I just never really found a tool that did it well. And um, there's a lot of tools out there. I wouldn't say a lot. There's a few, there's a handful of AI repurposing tools out there at the moment, but I never really found one that I really liked. And so I came across Opus and started using it. And I am so happy <laughs> with the results of this. I'm gonna move myself down here even more so you can see this. Um, but Opus will basically take one long form video 
and turn it into 10 viral clips, create 10 times faster. That's the, that's the caption there, that's, that's what they're saying. Um, it is a generative AI video tool that repurposes long talking videos into shorts in one click, powered by OpenAI. And um, some of these tools sometimes, you know, they just don't, they just can't get it right. You know, they're, they're, they're grabbing the wrong clips or, or whatever it may be, um, but it's just not capturing the right clips. But I started using Opus Clip and you guys can see this. If you're watching the video version of this podcast, that's probably the best is head over to YouTube or Spotify, watch the video version because I'm sharing my screen. And, um, and so that way you can see everything that's happening. Um, and so uh, here we are with Opus Clip, right? I'm logged in. Um, it's so easy. So basically, the, the the UX is so easy. There's literally one field, and this is where you would drop in your video link, right? You can either drop in your YouTube video right here, or you can upload the video itself, right? The actual video file itself, MP4, .mov file, WebM file, whatever it is. You can drag it here or just drop in your YouTube video link, which is what I do. I just put in my YouTube video link. And you'll see down here, I've got already three um, videos that I've already repurposed. Two of them are done. And I'll show you what this looks like because I've already uploaded a bunch of shorts, scheduled them. I'll show you what that looks like on uh, YouTube and also on TikTok. And so I've uploaded these videos, right? Um, let me show you uh, James Hicks here as I go in. and. It actually, on average, it pulled uh, about 25 different clips from each video. Um, and so from, from the 25, not all of them are good, not because Opus didn't get the right clip, but it just wasn't that hard hitting. And that's because of the content. You know, some, sometimes you have these really amazing moments um, and so, you know, out of the 25, I would say about 10 to 15 of them are good, right? On average, between the two, the three videos that have already uploaded. And so that is 10 to 15 shorts that I can work with. So easy, okay? And so, for example, this one with James, I'll go and grab this one. Um, I can go in here and right here is, there's a score, right? There's the preview, so I can play this. I can click on preview right here. Um, I can then download it, so easy. Downloads an HD version of that video. And then also, it has a transcription that I can read and preview. Okay, this is a short one. I can see here that it's 20 seconds long, right? Top right of that video, 20 seconds long. Perfect, I love that. I love the shorter shorts. <laughs> shorter shorts. Um, and so, but I can also go in and edit, okay? So now I can edit, really simple UX, I like simple, okay, there it is, okay, and I can play this, I'm gonna turn the volume off, but I can play this and you can see, look at the text, it's already jumping, it's got that really cool text that is really good for capturing engagement in the videos, and there it is, okay. Um, the On the left hand side, you'll see text, that's the transcription right there, and there's a text editor. So if I want to, I can highlight these, right? And you'll see that there's a little highlight now. And I can just click on this to remove both the text and the audio and also the video version, the video, uh, that section of the video. Okay, so easy, right? Um, I can change the text as well, the color of that text if I want. If I wanted to jump up, I can add an emoji. I can correct the caption. I can set this as the start point, set this as the end point, whatever I want. It's really, really user friendly, right? Um, I can go into the design as well. So there's a design section right here, little design button. Click on design and I can choose the caption transition, uh, one line per, you know, one caption, the captions with three lines per page or one line per page, the colors, um, over screen, screen overlay, if there's a logo, I can put a logo in on the top right corner, top left corner, wherever I want, um, the font colors, the stroke of the colors, the, sh the shadow color, um, all of that stuff. It's so, so intuitive, right? Um, and honestly, each video, I would say, once it's transcribed and uh, Opus Clip has done its thing, on average, my videos are about 47, 40 to 50 minutes long for a podcast interview. 
Um, it takes, I would say, a couple minutes and um, for Opus Clip to really parse out and create, you know, 25 different clips. And so out of that, I'll go through them and um, probably takes me about 10 minutes and I've got, you know, 10 to 15 clips now that I can use. Um, so for example, here's another one, this one actually with Katrina uh, with Adobe Express and it's a podcast episode and so I'm going through it and man, every other episode, every other clip is a good one. And I can also easily, uh, you'll see here, I can uh, heart or thumbs up the clip, okay? This also gives Opus Clip, um, the AI engine itself, some intelligence to know what I like and what I don't like, okay? You'll see here there's some where this is a side-by-side -side video, right? It's a YouTube video side-by-side, -side, but Opus Clip actually, when it's doing this repurposing, it puts it in this frame where uh, there's two sections, half and half, right, 50-50, which is, makes it easy for vertical videos, which is great. I don't have to do any of that editing. It's so good, right? So, so easy, okay? Um, and so there it is. So that's, that's, uh, that's awesome. So, I'm, so now, let me show you what this looks like. So, because I've downloaded um, about 10 to 15 for each one. Um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to show you my videos now inside of my YouTube channel. And you will see, look at this, these are all from Opus Clip. I've already scheduled some of them. I've uploaded most all of them from two videos. I've got like 30, 25 or 30 shorts that are lined up, scheduled, ready to go. Okay, I'm using TubeBuddy. We shout out to TubeBuddy. What's up, TubeBuddy? <laughs> uh, to schedule these and I can view the schedule. You'll see that I actually started this last week and I've got, I had, uh, was it Friday? And I scheduled shorts out for an entire week. And so that's really what I'm doing now. I'm taking a couple of each episode. I'm getting about 10 to 15 clips as shorts and scheduling, scheduling them into YouTube shorts. Um, and I am, it honestly has taken so much stress away from me from like, hey, I want to upload. I want to I be consistent. Um, and now with just a little bit of work, takes a little bit of time, honestly, very minimal. I've got shorts for weeks, right? Really easy. Um, I take the same videos, same shorts, right? Or vertical videos. And I've also, because now on TikTok, you can actually upload on the web, same workflow. I've scheduled them on TikTok as well. And so you'll see on TikTok, it's actually, we've got daily TikToks from my podcasts uh, that's scheduled until, I mean, this one for the next few days. I actually scheduled these about a week ago and so you know probably tomorrow I, I will go back in and for both YouTube and TikTok schedule another probably week or week and a half's worth of um, daily uh, video uploads to be published and so makes me so consistent it takes up very little time and I'm able to really continuously upload and update new things so it is such a game changer. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, again, shout out to Opus Clips. Shout out to the team over there. Shout out to Andrew for always thinking of me and, and just making these awesome introductions. And um, yeah, I definitely highly recommend Opus Clip. You guys should definitely check it out. If you're already creating podcast interviews or that type of content, even if you're vlogging, um, it, you're creating any type of shorts, um, make sure that you are checking out Opus Clip uh, because for the cost of it is such a no-brainer. It's such a no-brainer to be able to have this type of time saving to take your long form videos that you're already creating and getting more juice out of it by turning them into short videos like this. I think it's such a no-brainer. Such a no-brainer. All right, so um, I hope you, um, sorry for the shaky because the desk is connected to the webcam um, and the screen and everything. So it's, every time I do this, it shakes. So apologies. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are doing really well. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about Opus Clip or repurposing your content um, or anything like that, or even podcasting, whatever you have in mind around content creation and building a business around your content. Leave me a comment down below. I wanna make sure that you are uh, getting uh, the answers that you're looking for. 
Hope you like my new hat. It's from my old high school. I was there over there for alumni. Uh, no, for homecoming, and uh, all the alumni were invited. So I've got the STM night. Shout out to STM uh, St. Thomas More uh, out there. Uh, if you guys are from there, uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy this episode. Hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care.